Thank you, everybody. Good morning. Good, um, good evening. Uh, welcome to our committee meeting of the holes this June 17th, Monday, June 17th at uh, 633. We will call this meeting to order. We will start five with a salute to the flag. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, Mr. Kaufman. Uh, Ms. Hoffman. Here. Uh, Mr. Ray absent. Ms. Richardson absent. Uh, Ms. Hopkins. I think she has to work. Okay. She might come on a little late. Got it. Uh, Mr. Tom? Present. Mr. Callahan? Here. Uh, Ms. Henry? Present. Ms. Ivory? Present. And Ms. Williams? Present. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Paul. So, next we are going to go into there are no, um, oh, yeah, we do have special presentation. So we're going to go to our facilities. Yes. So our facilities master plan uh, budget update, potential impacts of emergency projects. So uh, Mr. Kaufman is going to present on that. Joy, we're right at special presentations. Mr. Kaufman is about to present on facilities master plan budget update. Uh, potential impacts of emergency projects. Uh, just tap it back a little bit. Yeah. Uh, is this okay for us on Zoom or should I need to zoom in? If you can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, please. the numbers. You can't see the, yeah, it's hard to see the numbers. Thank you. There we go. Oh, nice. All right. So this um, is the similar, is a similar spreadsheet to our last financing update. Um, just to reflect what would happen if we were not awarded the grants for the emergency projects. Um, as you can see, the total of the projects is approximately $5.7 million. Um, if the grants are awarded, cash flow comes here, we estimate it comes in, and we don't have to change our financing plan. Okay. However, yeah. if the emergency grants, you know, same call, $5.7 million. If they are not awarded, essentially what happens is the cash flow um, towards the end of the year or towards July of 2028, uh, we start to get into a deficit area, uh, in which case we have to issue an additional bond proceed in 2028 in order to recoup um, those costs. Um, so the total difference uh here is about 169 170 million for a bond issuances uh versus 175 million bond issuance but that would be kind of the timing based on our last financial update uh so we just wanted to make it clear that uh um, can you speak up yes uh we just wanted to make it clear that you know if these grants are not funded um and we <clears throat> continue with them as emergencies that this would be the impact on the facilities master plan as a whole uh, just that it was uh, clear to everybody and out in the public. So, so Bob, are you then saying that the money that we, I just want, I'm going to say it another way and see if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. So the money that we currently have borrowed to support the Long Range School Facilities Master Plan, mm -hmm. about $5 million of those dollars will be used to fund these projects here that you have highlighted in the event we do not get the grants that we just applied for. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So what's sort of the timeline? Like, will we, these are pretty critical projects. So that really, will we start them? Um, yes, because in order to have the roofs um, not be leaking for next school year, we would need them to be replaced during this summer right. because otherwise it'd be too, too chiller, hard more, et cetera. Uh, yes. Um, so those are starting. Mm -hmm. We'll just know who's paying for them later. Yes, in November, approximately. In November. So they're doing initial reviews now, and then they're moving projects um, to their committee in September, I believe is the timeline. And so then, we're outlaying this money, hoping to get reimbursed. That is correct. And if we don't, if we don't, that would be the, the effect is we would have to issue an additional 
uh, which is six cost, million dollars in 2028. Which is the cost of those three those items. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. What now? Is this document public? Uh, it is now. Well, I don't it's, see it on my agenda. It's linked into the presentation on the committee. What is the um? What are the, do you do you know like the chances that we wouldn't get it for people? Uh, yeah. No, um, okay. they are pretty. They're they're asking for us additional information from us now, so that we're in contact with them. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, that's okay. And that's a good sign, typically, when you're applying for a grant that they're asking for um, additional information. Gotcha. Okay. Typically. Um. So. Oh, committee the whole agenda. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Are there any more questions today? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, anyone, uh, Joy, do you have any questions? Just making sure. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, motions for, well, the motions for action. Um, can I get a motion? Yeah, okay. Can I get a motion to approve the committee meeting to hold from June 17, 2024, which is today. So why? You know, we don't have to the action. Why does it under this now? Sorry, moving right along. So we're going to go right to the review of proposed agenda for the business meeting, um, June 17. Um, so we're going to go, uh, yes. So pass that. Any public eyes comments at this time? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're starting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to do it. Yeah, thank you. Community relations. Um, so I'll be reading the community relations committee agenda. Um, A1 summer free summer meals for children and teens. A2 registration for 2024 for 2025 school year. A3 volunteer recognition, and that is the agenda for the community relations. Are there any comments or questions at this time? All right, none. Can you hear none? Next, we're going to go to our education committee agenda, read by our chair, Ms. Valerie Cook Henry. Good evening. B1, release and settlement agreement. B2, uh, <laughs> B2 proposed edits for the 2024. Uh, calendar year, and finally, B3 MOU agreement with the Delaware County Community College Nursing Partnership. <coughs> All right, are, are there any comments, questions? Thank you, Ms. Dow, with regard to the education agenda. Is there a list, I'm sorry, I'm behind. Is there a, a, change, um, a, a list of changes to the calendar you can attach to it? It's an attachment. It's an attachment. Well, right. we've, done got it. Uh, we've added four half the four. It says under number one. It says number one on page four half six four half of eight. nineteen, right above, right above the box where it says Back file page. attachments. Yeah. You see four half days were added to the calendar. Chief Cody's retired. Yeah. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, we haven't got there yet. <laughs> 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 okay. It's all on education. Did you hear me say four half days were added? Yeah. Okay, cool. No problem. <laughs> All right. That's okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, those are our questions. All right. Next, we'll go to our personnel committee agenda read by uh, Ms. Wadia Ivy, our chair. All right. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> C1 retirements. And I will mention uh, Secretary Ms. Jean Cody uh, has been with the district since. Oh, it does not say. But her effective date is July 18, 2024. There's a typo for her employed since um, to, for the next 2002. Okay. So she's been with the district since September 12, 2002. Ms. Cody, thank you for your many years of service, and we will celebrate you at our next meeting. C2, resignations. C3, there are none. C4, Changes in assignments. C5, 
see five leaves of absence. C6, there are none. C7, miscellaneous appointments, and there are none posted. C8, there are no tenure. C10, C9, there are none. C10, there are none. C11, there are none. C12, school safety officers agreement. And that file is attached below. C13, additions to the agenda, there are none. And that concludes my report. Does anyone have a um, Just to, and we'll do it again next week, a shout yeah. out to uh, Dean Cody. That's where they call her amazing years of service and support. And yeah. uh, Ms. Felder, um, I think she did an awesome job as guidance counselor at high school. I'm really sad to see her go. I think she's going to be an AP, and I hope she comes back. Thank you. All right. Are there any other comments for personnel? Hearing none, seeing none. All right. We're going to move on to the property committee agenda, read by our chair, Mr. Jan Pong. Thank you, Madam President. Your B1, emergency gym roof replacement at Wood Middle School, B2, emergency roof replacement at Edwards Elementary School. And D3, emergency roof replacement at East Main Family Street. That concludes my report this week. Thank you very much, Mr. Tong. Does anyone have any comments, questions, or concerns with regard to the property committee agenda that was just read? All right, here we are seeing now. We're going to move on to our budget and finance agenda, raised by our chair, Ms. Jennifer Hall. Always the happiness. E1 treasurer's report, E2 list of bills. <clears throat> Uh, E3 investment depositories. Um, important to know that we will not be voting on the budget next Monday. We'll be voting on the budget on Thursday, June 27th, which is the latest day. It's the first day after the 30 day um, look at it. And it's the last day we can vote before we're in jeopardy, um, et cetera. Any questions? Oh, sorry. No, no oh, question. Please, does it. anyone have any comments, <laughs> questions, or concerns? Did we move that date to the 27th? 20... Prior? Or is that coming up tonight? Uh, we don't have to. It's just um, a special meeting. Right? It's just a special meeting. Okay. We don't have to announce that we're not voting. Are you, do anyway. we have to have it that day? Like, Bill, are you going to be available? Or are you saying yeah. so he have... might not be available that well, day? But with, there's a 30 day look. And because of how well, I understand, I'm just saying I will, I'm available Monday and I'm available Thursday. Um, not on phone. Uh, if you want to hear the Phillies and the A's in the background, you I don't about, care. Uh, I, I can try and call it. That's because it's a voting. That's I, I understand. Okay. And that is the only item on the agenda. Thank you for saying it. Yeah. That would be, I'm saying. Yeah. So, okay. No problem. Text me when it gets to it's that take item. Uh, excuse myself. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Jen, for letting yep. everybody know. Yep. And I'll be contacting everyone um, to talk about a uh, budget, a tax increase at the end of this week. And not our fault. Okay. All right. Um, next, we're going to our... Um, no, does anybody have any comments, questions, or concerns from that? Uh, the um, property agreement now? I mean, finance and budget. All right, now we're going to policy committee agenda, read by our chair, Ms. Uh, Joanna Hopkins. Good evening, everyone, and thank you, uh, Madam Boykins. The first reading of policy 815.1 is the use of uh, generative AI in education. Um, the motion is to approve the first reading of the policy. Um, F2, second reading of policies 221.1, 222.2, and 221.3. Motion is to approve the second reading and adoption of the William Penn School District and admitted policies 221.1, 221, uh, 2, and 221.3. <clears throat> excuse me, and to enter such readings and adoption into the minutes. Okay. Thank you. Hold on, got one more. Um, All right. 
second reading of policy 903. Um, and the motion is to approve the second reading and to ad uh, the adoption of the William Penn School District amended policy 903 and to enter such reading into uh, a reading and adoption into the minutes. I think that should be it. Thank you very much. That's it. Ms. Hopkins, thank you. Are there any comments, questions, or concerns? Um, I do have a question. So remember the meeting, and Ms. Hopkins, this just asked, remember the meeting Ms. Uh, Faber was here and she was discussing um, some things that we could add into this uh, dress code policy, um, like pictures of what the kids should look like. And then I think um, Eli had brought up about something about uh, off the shoulders, um, the skin off the shoulders showing. There was some type of, um, I don't know, like people were upset on, not upset, it's like, can I wear it? Can I not wear it? Some some teachers, I guess, were following it, some not. So do we speak to that or has the changes been made or considered? They have been? Okay. The updates have been made. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's work. what I wanted to know, just to make sure. So when she does come back, you can make um, sure. It was announced at our last business meeting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Next. Oh, that is it. Oh, there is. Uh, I don't think we'll have a solution. But yes. So at this time, are there any comments or questions, concerns from um, uh, on agenda items? Comments from agenda items? Anybody out there? All right, hearing or seeing none. Um, if that is all, this uh, meeting has been adjourned. Thank you very much. Enjoy your time. Thank you, teachers, and all that you do. Everybody, enjoy your time and down the sun. Meeting adjourned. Stand